What's up guys, Rob from Japanese Gaming here, bringing you the second part to our Access and Allies Let's Play. I am here with Shbeeb, I am here with James, we are playing as the Allies, I am playing as the Soviet Union, Steve is playing as the UK, James is playing as the United States, which means, at some point in this game, I will be very dead. <laughs> so, <laughs> we're going to be doing a lot of observing this game, but we're going to do our best to try and keep the Soviet Union alive for as long as possible, I guess. The communists will prevail. Is that fucking Gorg Georgie Zukov? What was that? <laughs> so, you guys obviously saw the beginning part of this Let's Play, where we did, uh, James and I did the Axis run, so same exact rules are going to apply, uh, you know. And this format's going to be the same. When it's my turn, I'm going to not shut the fuck up and explain what I'm doing. Uh, when it's James and Shbeeb's turn, they'll take over and kind of tell you what they're doing because I can't, I can see what they're doing sort of, but I'll let them do their commentary stuff. So, uh, yeah, I'm going to be very dead at some point in this Let's Play, but I will do my best to hold out as long as I can. And I know the the professional Hearts of Iron gamers or uh, professional a a gamers are already freaking out that I'm not buying the uh, st standard... Or infantry three artillery um i'm just gonna get a ton of infantry <laughs> because i need to defend as long as i can actually you know what we will we'll get the three artillery because i might be able to push the attack a little bit but this is probably the last time you're going to be buying anything that's not infantry <laughs> so don't get used to it uh jeez. so yeah Probably just try to do a pretty standard opening here. Just completely abandon Corellia because fuck that place, it's completely indefendable. Actually, I'm gonna leave you out of this. Um, send you. Uh, we'll send you. And then we'll do our strafe on Ukraine. Which is a little too real, if you ask me. As the Soviets, yeah, a little bit. <laughs> little cringe. little cringe of you, game, that we're doing that, but... I'm sending oh 12 into West Russia. Which is fine, because as long as I can hold Archangel, they can't get to Homeland Russia. So that's fine by me. Yeah, we can't defend Karelia this turn. Even if we left everything in it. Uh, if we left everything in Corellia, which would be four infantry and artillery and a fighter, uh, they can hit me with three infantry, six infantry, a tank, and a couple planes, as well as loading up in this transport, since they go before Shbeeb does. So, yeah, don't try to hold Corellia. It's just not worth it. Um, and that's all we're going to do, because as the Russians, if you remember, in 1942, we were kind of getting our fucking asses kicked, so... I love that Finland is just part of the of the German Empire in this. Like, they don't even make any bones about it. They're like, no, they're not neutral. No, 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 no. They are straight up an Axis collaborator in this game. Okay, that was about the worst possible opening round we could have gotten. I got one hit. Really? Not great. Not great, Bob. There we go. Showing some fucking teeth. Let's go Russians. Not bad. That battle started off really bad. Could have gone worse. We won on a plus minus. Which, as Russia, is going to be really important because uh, if the Germans basically have double the IPC production that we have. So, yeah. Okay. Uh, RNG not working out in my favor this game so far. Yeah, we're going to back off that attack. That's fine. We could probably take it this turn, but we're not going to. We're just going to do... This is what's called a strafe uh, for you non-pro players. <laughs> uh, basically, the idea is you send your units into the Ukraine just to weaken the Germans a little bit. We traded three infantry for three infantry, which sounds even, but a draw is pretty much a loss for us. <laughs> so... Yeah, not not great. Move him here. Move you up. 
My plan is, and this is a strategy I devised myself, is to try and hold Archangel as long as I can. Because if we hold Archangel and West Russia and the Caucasus, they can't get to Russia in one turn with all their tanks. Because that's what the AI is going to do. They're going to spawn a ass load of tanks and they're going to try to come punch me in the teeth. But as long as we have these three territories... They can't get to mainland Russia in one turn. So, well, that's you have to remember the AI is starting to employ different tactics. Yeah. It's just that if we hold time, all of those, me pretty quickly. if we hold all of those, they can't actually get to me in one turn and I'll have time to react. So, fingers crossed, we'll see if this actually works. Uh, chances are it might not. And I'm going to move these infantry here into. Briacha just to hold off the Japanese. They're probably going to leave me alone for the most part because they're going to focus on putting an industrial complex and go kicking the teeth out of the Americans and the British. But I digress. So the Chinese are American in this game? I forgot about that. Yeah. If we were playing the expanded version of this game, the Chinese are an actual faction. True. All right, Germany. What do you got? What do you got for us, Schittler? He's attacking Egypt. Oh, great. Oh, I forgot to move my sub. Damn it. Not that it would have really mattered, but... Yeah, so he's attacking me in West Russia, which is expected. There goes the British cruiser. This battle Enjoy, let's see. needs to go well for us. If it doesn't, this is going to be a cringe game. Okay, that's huge. That's actually huge, though. He's an idiot. He killed off his plane? Why, though? Two hits off me in Egypt. But I got three hits on him in Egypt, so... That's good. Oh, that's that's okay. slow him down real hard. Whew. Oh yeah, so for those of you that don't know, this game has a really, really awful time desync for some reason. So like, we're all going to be seeing different events <laughs> at different times. I don't know why the game has this much desync, but it does. It, it's bad. We just killed each other in Egypt. What? Yep. Trade me out, trade me out. <laughs> But now nobody can use the Suez Canal. Uh, we still can because we own the property. Yeah, but he still has forces down there, so you gotta get something over there to kind of just halt that. Yeah, I know. I'm gonna run my guys from Persia and Transjordan over, probably. Alright. Oh, well, he sunk one of my battleships, and the game gave me no notification for that. That's cool. Yeah, the time desync is actually kind of cringe. <laughs> It's rough. I don't know why it does this, but it does. I think it's because this game isn't meant to be played, technically speaking, not meant to be played all at once. It's meant for desynchronous play. But, yeah. Ooh, yeah, like, it, it might I, turn around and tell you it's your turn when it's not really your turn yet. I just thought that the Royal Navy was the largest navy in the world at this point, and I, I don't have any ships on the on the map at all. <laughs> yes, true. Like, what? How come the German high seas fleet is larger than my navy? Wow, that's like... actually really good. Four hits on the Royal you Kriegsmarine. <laughs> you might actually hold West Russia. Uh, I'll give you a hint. I didn't. <laughs> you didn't? No. Oh, God. Oh, wait. Mm. It killed off the AA gun. I might, if I get really lucky. My tank keeps rolling fives and sixes. Fuck! The good news is he's going to kill me here in West Russia. But the good news is he doesn't have much left. Three fives in a row, tank? Really? You have a 50-50 shot to take out something? You didn't kill... You, he probably would have killed his plane, too, because he had to take the territory. Fuck you. God damn it, Germany. So what, are you fucking evil or something, Germany? I mean, come on. Honestly, though, that wasn't a bad round. I mean... Holding Egypt is really critical. It's really, really sweet that you managed to pull that off. All right, what do you got cooking, Shabib? Um, I mean, really, not a lot. I can't really do a whole lot. Um, I mean, I could attack. Uh, 
Uh, oh, we're gonna end the phase because I can't attack anything. Yep, that's fine. Because I need to move to Burma. I need you to move here. Hmm. I need this transport to go this way so it doesn't get sunk. <laughs> sunk like a rock. You building up your uh, Pacific fleet? Kind of. I can't deploy them in Canada, all right. No, you'd have to put a factory first. Yeah. This will be interesting. I wonder what the Japanese are going to do besides beat the Americans. I wonder if they're still going to try to attack you in... Yeah, they are going to try to attack you in India. I was attacking China, too, yeah. They're attacking what would have been traditionally the Guangxi clique. I think. I don't know. You went I after my fleet, 53. Jesus Christ, they want Burma so bad. <laughs> Listen, if I learned anything from Hawaii 4, it's that I don't want that area of the world. Supply problems that you experienced there? Yeah, no, fuck that. That is so cringe. I lost half a million men in fucking Vietnam, dude. Holy shit, you fucking actually held on to Anwe? I've never seen that happen. With one guy. <laughs> Wait, where? Anway in China. Oh, yeah, I see it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fucking G.I. Joe, dude. Like, Broke One ass. man held that entire thing. That man's getting a medal. I think I I just had an infantry disappear in India, I guess, but it didn't, it didn't show me the combat, so... Yeah, I'm still... I don't know. Mine's so slow. I'm going to Yunnan now. I'm literally not seeing any combat. Oh, are you... Did you click the follow button? That's probably why. Yeah, if mm. you click the uh, follow button, it'll show you the uh, El Combat. He sent one plane into India by itself? And he fucking lost it. <laughs> he sent two. He lost two planes in India? What an idiot. Yep. The or crown jewel, baby. What an absolute spagoot. All right, well, let's see what happens in Burma. Damn, that's kind of cringe, James. Your fleet in uh, Season 53 is not doing too well. Seriously? It's the only thing I have is my fleet, and yet it's being destroyed. Uh-oh, here comes a fight in Burma. <laughs> they got one hit. Okay, okay. I got two hits, so I fired back and killed two things of his. Okay, okay. Um, mm. Oh, that's huge, actually. Your fleet in 53 kind of kicked ass, actually. Never mind. I think it's going to get it? sunk. Yeah, I mean, you basically blew up his entire navy. He has one plane in the sky right now that's trying to kill an aircraft carrier. They pushed me out of Burma, dude. It's kind of cringe. <laughs> They attacked you outside of Hawaii? That's ballsy as hell. The AI loves to be reckless with its navy in this game. Last time, they just kept throwing their navy at James. Had a, had a uh, battleship off the coast of Spain as the Germans, and they just kept throwing navy at it. Like, one random destroyer, one random cruiser. And he held on until I finally sent him to go fight somebody. Yeah, I mean, he got splatted eventually, but... I mean, look in C Zone 37, bro. The Japanese have left a single aircraft carrier down there by itself. <laughs> oh, boy. I hope they're ready for me to take Burma back. What am I looking at here? They're ready for the fighting in the jungles. All in all, that wasn't a great start for the Japanese, honestly. No, it wasn't Ooh. great. No, it was not. I need to fucking deal with the Kriegsmarine, though. 
<laughs> yeah. I do the Kriegsmarine and then the the Italian Navy, whatever it's called, the Regia, whatever the fuck, like. Because that's like what that in the Mediterranean simulator, even though it's only one battleship, I think. He has a battleship and a transport, it, yeah. And then you know the war for a the war for Africa can begin. You know what you should do? That'd be super cash money, James. What's up? Oh, uh, wait, never mind. I'm just gonna. Oh. You could attack Morocco to try to kick the Nazis out of it, but you might get sunk by that battleship. I totally forgot I controlled Australia. Hell yeah, brother. The queen and her colonies, you know? At this point, it's the king, but yeah. True, yeah, the king. Long live the king, right? I mean, I could put a battleship on that side. We do have the fucking Panama Canal. Yeah. Usually when I play the Americans, I just go, like, full navy for a little bit. I have Gibraltar. I forgot about that. Gibraltar is actually super clutch because you can just station bombers there and then just strategic bomb Italy and Germany over and over again. It's really funny. And the AI never does anything about it because it's not worth going after. There's no IPC value. Oh, here we go. Here we go. The American war machine's on the move. I also control like two-thirds of Africa. Yeah, they kind of just glossed over the whole like... France. Vichy France and Free France thing, yeah. It's understandable. Just trying to simplify the game. Although I think in the six-foot version... Free France yeah, is a thing, right? The Fran France, China, Italy, they're all factions, yeah. Anzac. Yeah, the Anzac, that's true. I count Mongolia as like horribly misshapen on this board. <laughs> Bro, look at the UK. <laughs> they really don't have anything within striking distance for me right now. No, really as the Americans in turn one most of the time, the only thing you can do is you can invade Morocco if you feel like it. Other than that, because the Japanese Navy gets to move before you, they move all their shit out, you know? You gonna go have fun in Africa? Oh boy, it's Operation Torch. Here we go, baby. Might as well. Don't forget your other transport you have. Do I have a second transport? Yes, you have two. Do I? The West Coast, yeah. You can bring up to you can bring four land units and your bomber. Yeah, you do have a transport over here by San Francisco too, but I think the only thing you could take this turn would be either Wake or Iwo Jima. <laughs> yeah, it's not. And neither one are worth any IPC values. It's kind of interesting that yeah. they didn't make Okinawa a worth, like, one IPC just for the significance of it being, like, the last island before you get to the mainland, you know? Or Iwo Jima. Yeah. I guess Morocco's going to be my only main move right now. See if I can get in there and help kind of curb stomp them a bit. Curb stomp the Jerry's. Okay, that's not a great start. All right, are we, are we just going to fill up or not? <laughs> Guys, Jacob's committing cringe in my general chat. Hey, Brad. Hey, Brad, cool. you want to not say that in the middle of a recording? That'd be cool. <laughs> like, put your friends on blast in, <laughs> in public. <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean? We're recording a Let's Play. Oh, my bad. I didn't know. You're not in the streaming chat. Because we're not streaming. Ah, uh, I, get, I get it. I really should make a recording studio. I'm going to do that after we finish this. I'll make a recording studio voice, just so people know. Oh, well, at least you took Morocco. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so now the... Well, I was going to say the African threat is over, but he does have a transport and a water over here. African threat? Pause. My man in Germany has a single transport in season 17. 
Okay, fine. But I'm gonna, I'm gonna be able to catch it and sink it. Probably. I mean, you can move your fleet from C zone 35 all the way to C zone 17 in one turn. Yeah, I could also go from 8 to 14, probably. Where's 8 to 14? Yeah, you can. All the naval units have a move of 2. <laughs> Are you just going to bomb Germany? Is that what you're doing, James? Oh, yeah. I see that bomber in Gibraltar just vibing. Well, somebody's got to put some drain on them. Listen, you also have to worry about the Imperial fleet too. You know, <laughs> I, I understand. You've got you've got navy to boot. I'm putting one of everything I bought yeah, you on gotta, either you, side to help. You gotta worry about like Hirohito like flying up your ass. My idea is maybe trying to go for Japan since they destroyed their fleet. Yeah, maybe. that's kind of wild. They meant to sink their own fleet. They have they have a decent fleet left, but it's not as much as they normally have after round one. Like they have a carrier with no planes, two battleships, a destroyer, a sub, and two destroyers and a transport off of Japan. So it's not like they don't have anything, but they usually have a lot more after round one. They usually yeah, they usually have a better set. Like right now, I can technically get ready to start pushing at them. All right, what have the Soviets got for me? What do you got? Uh, probably just taking back West Russia, TBH. He's, He's got one keep... tank, so yeah. He's going to keep trading Western Russia, yeah. And I'm going to strafe the Ukraine again. I forgot to move my sub. I could go attack his navy with my sub, but why would the hell would I do that? What, your black, the Black Sea Fleet? No, no. Oh, I see it all the way up in the fucking... Um, I don't actually want to win in Ukraine, <laughs> so I might not send everything, but it says favorable. I don't actually want to win that is the problem, <laughs> because then I'm in range of all the shit that's going to be coming out of his capital. What? I like how they just smashed Bulgaria and Romania into one. Oh, Bulgaria and Romania, yeah. And Poland is like oblongly shaped. What? Is, like, what the fuck? That's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna take back West Russia, and then I'm gonna strafe Ukraine, and that's about it, quite frankly. I could be dumb and send five infantry into Manchuria, and on the off chance I won, it would be hilarious because I would kneecap the Japanese. But I'm not gonna do that. I mean, that would take that whole factory away from them, get them off the mainland. Yeah, I'm not gonna do it though because the problem is I would leave my entire Siberian area completely open. Oh, yeah, it's going to be completely left alone. Oh, wow. <laughs> the one infantry rolled a hit. That's really funny. Well, he's dead. That's what you get. That's what you get for rolling a hit. Oh, yo, shit. Yeah. Brave hit. <laughs> exactly. The oh, yeah. Playing. I crashed for the first time. This is going to be going good. Oh, yeah, this Already? game crashes all the time. Speed, you can just oh, hit, you can hit every... reload. Five minutes. It's gonna crash. I won in Ukraine on accident. Did you really? Yep. My fucking three tanks and two fighters rolled five hits, dude. <laughs> That's awesome. God damn it. I did it. Ah. I shouldn't oh, have sent everything God. in. Fuck. I mean, I just traded at a 32 IPC to 7 clip, but like, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Rob, you gotta, you gotta next turn if they don't put anything in the Baltics or Belarus, you gotta send a tank and just take away IPCs. That's actually super cringe. <laughs> <laughs> gotta just take the IPCs now, man. And look, you got Ukraine back, and there's nothing in Poland or Belarus right now, so. Yeah, the problem is, oh my god, I'm now in range of well, Romania. He can't really hit you too hard because he's got a lot of infantry and artillery. He only is going to go one step. Yeah. I mean, it could be worse. Winning on accident and all, but, you know. There, Brad, you your all back. one. I'm curious about what's happening. I was actually curious, yes. 
All right, Shitler, what do you got for me? Shitler. Yeah, bro. He's going down with his... Oh, he's going towards me. He wants to fight my fleet off the channel. In the channel? You don't he's have a fleet. one plane against your destroyer and two transports. That would really suck if you're... I mean, I lost two tra two destroyers to nothing. He oh. rolled one hit, and both my destroyers oh. got sunk. Oh, uh, I've stalled. <laughs> oh, Brad's fighting the fight for us. Yeah. If your sub kills this German, if my sub kills this German sub, I'll laugh so hard. Because I I don't think I've ever actually killed anything naval with the fucking Russians. I think he pulled back. On my screen, the they're Russians, still going. Honest. No, they're still they're still just trying to kill each other. He can't roll a two, and I can't roll a one, so I don't. I got him. <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> they're just launching torpedoes at each he other. He took out my destroyer. You did it. The Red Navy, baby. <laughs> you won. I lost to one fighter. Yeah, one fighter and whatever sunk both of my destroyers off the UK, and I don't know what or where or what it was. It didn't say. I mean, that sucks, because I was two transports, but I already got my forces down there. Let's see. I can tell you exactly what happened after his turn ends, because I can go back to the combat log. Uh, Why does Iberia look the way it does? In C-Zone 8, he destroyed two destroyers and lost a cruiser. That's kind of cringe. Yeah. He built seven tanks. Oh, yikes. <laughs> and he's sending them all the way up to the Corellia, dude? Oh, my God. He sent five up there and a few down in Germany. He's going to hit hard. See, that's why I'm holding Archangel so hard, right? Because he can't get to... He Russia. can't blitz through Russia. Uh, I guess I should build... Uh, is there only two... Al uh, three? Is there three allies, but only two Axis in this game? Yes. Yes, Brad, the game's like... 40 years old also if you buy the six foot game board you can play as all the different factions but i mean let's be honest here when you're building a board game you don't want to have 18 fucking nations flying around yeah but i thought it would they would even up the size by having 3v3 you know no i guess they have some the kind of balancing in italy which, yeah italy which would be shit so like why would you do that fair italy would have like what half the amount it would have be italy Germany. and then like africa some parts of africa yeah which is basically what it has in the, in the six foot Greece, game board. Yeah. Um. Let's see. What should I buy? Like, I I should just invest in my navy. I think is really the important thing. You could also give it Bulgaria and Romania because they were allied, or uh, not allied, but allied to them. Just don't neglect India. Yeah, dude, yeah, you're gonna want to reinforce India a lot because they're about yeah, to I start know. heading up you. I know. India's kind of like low-key the backbone of the whole game it's really funny <laughs> like, yeah i can take burma back though like honestly if the allies lose india in round one which is possible to happen because he can bring four units down it's, if you don't have a navy there you happened. might as well just like reset tbh it's happened to us before yeah it happened to me and you that one time we just reset because it was like this it, this game is fucked no, no, we weren't now. able to do anything. We lost half our forces in the first opening round. We just sat there and, like, cried. Mm -hmm. You can send your yeah. Aussie fleet in. Aussie, Aussie, Aussie. Oi, I forgot Oi. about them. Yeah, I, forgot I mean, I was going to say, you could send your... Oh, no, you don't have... Oh, you do have a plane. I was going to say, you can send your stuff to fight that battleship in the transport. Get that out of the water. Uh, he could. I, I don't my, think I he'd my carrier... But I don't. Yeah, it's not. Good. It's not a good chance. But you, you could have something. Oh, also, Shbeeb, though, one one of the things about this game is for battleships, since they take two hits to kill, um, if you don't kill it, it heals after the battle. Right. Yeah. Makes sense. You know what you could do if you really want to be an asshole. You could load up two infantry in Eastern Australia and then go try to take Borneo just for the IPCs. Just on the yeah. off chance you win. I could also take New Guinea. Oh well, yeah, but yeah, good point. Yeah, you're right. I mean, it's it's like a it's a crapshoot, right? Because you have to roll a one, but if it works, you get four IPCs per turn. You know? Yeah.
The access powers. Agagagaga. Offload my transports. Yes, I'm trying to. Why can't I? Oh, insufficient movement rating. Okay. Oh, you can't yeah. get to Borneo? Oh, duh, because they're in 39, not 38. Derp. You can get to New Guinea, yeah. Yeah, it's all right. Uh, actually, yeah, we're going to do that. Yeah, you could take away the IPCs. Just go fight in New Guinea. <laughs> yep. Well, you can island hop a little bit, take some of those away. I mean, all the IPCs you take away is just going to help us in the long run. Yeah. And it's not like they have a fleet to really... Oh, they do have a fleet, but... All right, well, we'll see what happens now. Do they have two battleships at 36? Yes. That's not good. No, not particularly. I wouldn't say it's ideal for us. No, no, I didn't realize that. All right, let's see how New Guinea... Let's see how the combat in New Guinea goes. Shbeeb is attacking New Guinea. <laughs> all right, not great. Not great, Bob. That was not good at all. All right, they missed two. Press... Press. Yeah, yeah, well, we're can't. pressing on. You can't retreat from a naval invasion anyway, so. Oh, All right, they missed. Oh my, oh, my God. Wow. Oh, my God. Cringe. <laughs> Are you serious? What is going on here? I mean, to be fair, they're fighting in the jungles, right? So it's hard to see the enemy. Bro. No, no, this is literally idiots fighting idiots oh my god <laughs> Yo, i'm about to leave this <laughs> all right, finally broken. all you have to do is hit one guy oh we did it it's there we did it reddit we <laughs> did it reddit we took new guinea all of that for one ipc per turn <laughs> yeah Oops. Oops. now we're fighting in burma oh god Oh no, that's not great. All right, well you gotta hit. That's not great. Oh, two infantry versus hit. a tank. I don't know about this mm -hmm. one, chief. Yeah, you can do it. Gonna I'm be gonna low. retreat. Just hit the god roll. Oh no, about you that. You know, if I was scary. about to lose a land combat in Burma, I would simply hit my rolls. Speed was unsuccessful. Snake. All right, now we got we got the Royal Navy fighting the Japanese Navy. One Dude, random aircraft to... carrier with no planes on it because he's an idiot and just threw them at India and got him killed. Which is really Poor funny. Guy. All right. All right, we got there a hit. Go. There goes there that go. carrier. Yeah, Very it's nice. a carrier. He got a hit back, but it's all right. Uh, hmm. I'll have him hit the sub. That's fine. That's a worthy trade. Getting a carrier kill with no planes is actually huge. Carriers are just so crazy once they have fighters on them. On combat moves, you're gonna go to India and uh, India, Egypt. Um, hmm. I'll mop up the rest of Africa here, and then I'll try to get boats in the water to bring me over to either France or Italy. Europe's soft underbelly. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the Ooh. only thing I gotta worry Sorry. about is that battleship. Bless you. Thank you. Yeah. I don't know what I'm gonna do. Well, I'm gonna retreat from Ukraine, that's for goddamn sure. I'm <laughs> sure I think you could take that six artillery yeah the six artillery the five tanks the five other tanks from his capital he can bring the yeah two planes. I, I you, you think I could take that I don't know about that chief I'm I think you could take it I think I think you could take it I'm gonna keep it real with you my guy that's pretty stupid of you to say <laughs> actually you know what no 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 my infantry are gonna go there and then What is your game plan, Shbeeb? I have no idea. We'll find out, though. <laughs> oh, okay. If they don't, if I don't know what I'm doing, they don't know what I'm doing. Don't know I mean, that, I gotta take, I gotta take Burma back. To be honest, like that's a big one. But like, 
Oh no. They're attacking Szechuan. My Szechuan sauce. Wow. Three misses. That's cringe. Now how, how will I get my Rick and Morty sauce? So I, I could tell you the results of that already. Oh, yeah, it just got, told me it's my turn. You got molly -whopped. Yep. My plan was to go after them, but I guess I did not win that draw. No. Um, Where'd their two battleships go? Come fight Ooh, me. Oh, 49. Okay, okay. One, one battleship came to fight me in uh, C-Zone 37. Time to attempt to hit Mock. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, he sent a destroyer to try to kill two cruisers. Very smart of you, AI. Very smart. Yeah, and I, and I sunk the cruiser. I sunk the destroyer. Yeah. <laughs> he killed one of my transports off New Guinea, but that's okay. That guy was bedoomed anyway. I gotta knock them out of Burma. Because I get them out of Burma, and then French Indochina, and then, like, we out, we out here, you know? Yeah, the Japanese are not investing as heavily into the mainland as they normally do. Like how it just it went to James's to James turned it to instantly went to the the fucking combat phase, not even like the by phase. You know, <laughs> yeah, forget the by phase. He's already bought his units, he's he's rip roaring and ready to kill some Nazis. <laughs> oh, he put another battleship in the water by his actual mainland. Did he? Oh Who, boy, Germany? yeah, he did. No, that's Japan. Japan. Oh, Japan, yeah. Yeah, you gotta, uh, you, gotta you gotta get on that navy killing thing, buddy. Man. Yeah. The, the Royal Navy can play a subsidiary role to you in the Pacific because I have to try to focus very heavily on the Atlantic. I need to sink the Kriegsmarine and the fucking oh, Red that's Sea Marina. The transport. Fishers yeah. are just outside of my range. Yeah, you gotta you gotta start cooking on that, my friend. I will. I'm trying to build it up. I don't want to go after two battleships. What was bro cooking? My... Bro was cooking goulash. Let's see how their anti-air rolls. He missed. And you did three damage. Not bad. That's... You know, one infantry. Let's go. <laughs> Listen, anything you can do to slow down Germany is going to be massive help for me. Well, that's my game plan. Yeah, I have a bomb. I moved a bomber to um, Di Tiberia as well, so. Cause I'll like, try to hit him. He's got ten tanks that are within range of Ukraine right now, so I'm really pissing bricks over here. You're not huh? shitting bricks. No, I'm so scared that I'm pissing bricks. <laughs> Kidney stones. I want to move these two in preparation. You know what I can do? Can he go? He can go there. What's one of the things that's really funny about this game, the way the AI plays it, is they always stage out of Western or Eastern Canada mm -hmm. for D Day. And so like you'll just see this massive buildup of army in Quebec and it's really funny. Yeah. <laughs> oh boy. Back to my turn, but we're going to call this episode here because it's actually been 40 minutes already. So next time you will join us, we will be back at my turn and I will be getting the fuck out of Ukraine as quickly as possible. <laughs> See you guys next time.